last video in part four, I fitted the motor in and uh, I forgot to say that it was temporary and all this wiring has got to be fitted first. Also the um, the gear lever wire and the brake wire has all got to be fitted in before the motor's fitted in. I just thought I'd pull that in just in case. Anyway, carry on. So here I am using my favourite grease again, Silkaline Pro RG2 and I'm coating all the bolt bushing parts. I'm pushing the sleeve into the shock mount by hand. It does go in with a bit of a wiggle but may need a light tap. There are two hard rubber spacers, one to go on either side. They are a little bit fiddly to get on, but will go on with a little bit of patience. I'm adding a bit of grease to the suspension bolts before installing the shock. The bushing size is 24mm and the shock I'm using is a DNM AOY36RC. The bottom bolt went in easy but the top bolt was feeling too tight. So I took out the bolt and could see that it was not seating correctly and was off angle. I used a wooden handle to slightly lever the suspension down just over a millimetre. Once I did up the bolt, I then removed it to check it was seated correctly, and it was. Putting the crank on the motor is pretty straightforward as it just pushes onto the spline. And then you wind on the retaining collar, which is left hand thread and needs to be 35 newton meters of torque. However, I do not have the tool to do it up and this tool will not fit. So I will have to use this tool, which means how do I torque it up? So another very small problem, the forks I bought are tapered. And the top one is 118 and the bottom is 1.5. The steering tube on the frame is tapered, but the headset bearings are not. So I had to buy a larger correct bottom seat. It fits in the fork tube easily, as it has a split in it, which means I can just push it on. Then a bit of grease all the way round, and also some grease in the frame where the bearing sits. The bottom bearing goes in bevel side up and this goes in pretty easy too. After greasing everything, I can now install the front fork. My preference is to keep the handlebars up as high as they go, so I'm using some spacers. They are all different sizes, so I use a couple of different combinations until I can get the handlebar stem and the fork stem flush. Do 
whip the fork stem bolts to secure the fork and that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.